Hey guys, Charles here. Now in this video, I'm going to be looking at every weapon in Normandy. Just basically point out what I think are the five most underrated weapons. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of weapons in Normandy. There, there's a shitload of weapons in Normandy. Now, I'm just basically going to be talking what I think are the most underrated weapons. And really just, you know, weapons I don't see much love for. And, I mean, some of these weapons, many people don't even... You know, people say, oh, they're useless. People say they're, they're, you know, just bad. And personally, I'm going to try to defend as many of these as I can. And basically say, they're not that bad. You know, and you should probably give them a try every now and again. Anyway, let's start with number five. Coming in at number five is the Walter PP. Now, the Walter PP, or the police pistol, as I call it, is basically, honestly, it's actually not too bad. Now, most people usually just discount this because, like, oh, you know, the Luger, the Walter P38, and the Bowser. But, honestly, I think this is actually, it stats-wise, it is statistically worse than the other pistols. The, the other pistols do slightly more damage. However, in terms of performance, if you actually use it, you will understand why what I mean by this. Now... I personally think it's better than the Luger and it's better than the P38 in most regards. The Mauser is... Mm, I'm, I'm indifferent on the Mauser to be honest, but... In my opinion, it's better than the P38. It's about as good as the P38 it's better, and it's better than the Luger. But that being said, it's still... Pistols in general are just underrated. Like, I would say they're great weapons, but I don't, I don't think they justify, you know, the, the silver order cost. And... I would say the only people who benefit from them are new players who are using bolt actions mostly. But that being said, it's still pretty good just switching to a pistol and getting a few kills with this. Which is why it's getting coming in at number 5. Anyways, let's move into number 4. Coming in at number 4 is actually a gold order weapon and it's the MKB-35. Now, the carbine, the problem with this carbine is it's, a, it's unfortunately locked as an assault weapon. Now... That's the reason it's underrated. If this was a a rifle like the the Kurt, this thing would probably be used a lot more. Because let's face it, it's basically an it's basically it, well, it's a carbine for a start. It's pretty solid, but there's a problem when with Axis Normandy assault weapons, you've got to contend with, you know, you've got to contend with. The MP43. Now, that's the problem which kind of sinks this. Is that if you have the MP43, there's no real reason to use anything else. Because the MP43 is just so powerful that it's just... It's advantageous to not use it. As well as this, it's kind of short-shafted by the fact that there are two better options, really, in the gold order. In terms of assault weapons, you can just use the um, EMP, which is... Honestly, really fucking good. Or, even though you can't see it here, you could just use the Gavir 43 Kurtz, which is pretty much a guaranteed you buy this option first. If you... in For both campaigns, for both campaigns it's in, for both Normandy and Berlin, the the, um, the Gavir 43 Kurtz is a much better option than the Irma. It's much better than pretty much everything, really. And it includes the MKB, unfortunately. That being said, the MKB is still a fucking solid weapon. If you pick this up, you understand. I've picked this up a few times. It's actually really good. But there's, it's just, unfortunately, it's outclassed. And that's a shame because I would say this is actually a 9 out of 10 weapon. It's just that Axis Normandy is full of just so many great SMGs. And, of course, the elephant in the room that is the... Um, the MP43, that unfortunately I have to put this at as an underrated weapon. That being said, let's move on to number three. Coming in at number three is the MP35. Now the MP35 is actually, honestly, I would say it's the most one of the most underrated SMGs in the game. You really do not know how good this is until you use it. I dismissed this. When I first saw the, the tech tree, and I saw, oh, the MP35, I thought, it's going to be bad. You know, I'm, 
because I saw this and I thought, it's going to be bad. I'm going to be using the MP40 a lot more over this. And stats-wise, you know, it's not really much to it over the MP40. Slightly better hit power. That's about it, really. Similar rates of fire, you know, same magazine, you know, similar recoil, you know. So you might be thinking, well, why is it so good? Why is the MP35 so underrated? Well, if you saw my my video on every weapon in Normandy, I think I wrote this as, like, number 6 or number 7. And I was saying that this was a 10 out of 10 weapon. Now, the reason it's so underrated is, look at how many SMGs there are. Like, you got the MP40, you got the ZK383, you got the Beretta, and of course, the elephant in the room, again. And given how late of an unlock the MP35 is, you know, most people just short regard, just disregard it, saying, oh, you know, just save for the Beretta. I would argue that this is actually better than the Beretta. Like, I know I put the Beretta slightly higher, I think I did in... I think I might have put the Beretta as, like, number 5 or number 6 or something like that, with the MP35 slightly higher. But I would actually retrospectively go back and put the MP35 higher than the Beretta. I think the MP35 is much better than the, than the ZK, and it's much better than, and it's better than the Beretta. The only problem is the MP43 is so powerful, again, that you can't argue that this thing is just worse. Now... It's much better than everything that comes before it, and it's better than the two SMGs that come after it. However, compared to the MP43, it's just, there's no contest. The only real campaign where this, sh I mean, if you look at the other, if you want any example, look at how it shines in, you know, in Moscow. I think, is it in Tunisia? I don't know if it's in Tunisia. It's not in Tunisia, so, which is a shame. But it shines in both Moscow and... It shines in Berlin. In fact, I'd argue it's the best SMG for the Axis in Berlin. Like, the, the VG-1-5 is... It's a flavour text weapon, really. And it's fine. And the Beretta, I'd say, I'd argue is worse than the, um, the MP-35. But, that being said, it's still a solid weapon. And it's still, honestly, well-deserving of... Like... I'd argue it's probably the best Axis SMG, in terms of, like SMG, not Assault or Weapon, SMG in the game. Maybe maybe the Beretta M1 might be better, I've not I've not used it too much. The Beretta M1 is still really good, a really good solid early game SMG. But this thing just cuts. Honestly, I I remember when I first used this and I'm like, okay, it's, it, it's fine. But not something... And then I used it for the second time and I thought, Holy shit, this thing is great. Anyways, uh, let's move on to number two, which <laughs> is actually sticking with the... I'm seeing a pattern here, really. And now we can go over to the Allies for the um, number two trip pick, which is actually the Sten. Now the Sten, most people say is the worst... Weapon. I've heard people say this is the worst Allied SMG. Other people say that this thing is the worst. And I'm saying, are we, have we been using the same weapon here? Like, honestly, the Sten isn't actually that bad. Like, honestly, the only problem with the Sten is, look what comes after it. The Lancaster is a direct upgrade to it. And, of course, two Thompsons. And, honestly, compared to those... Yes, the Sten is, is pretty bad, but when you look at it on its own, comparing it to what comes before it, which is shit, shit, and sh and humongous piles of dog shit, it's actually a really good SMG, and it's a solid SMG. I'd argue, and I've said many times, the Allies only get a good SMG at level 22, which is when they are not the Sten, right? Up until the Allies unlock the Sten, they, they do not have anything good for close range. After the, the only problem with the Sten is, again, the Lancaster, the Thompsons, they come after it and they are, you know, more worthwhile of the free size. If the Sten was unlocked at the same, at the level of the Winchester, 
get rid of the Winchester entirely because the Winchester shit. And it was unlocked then. Then maybe, and it, or the Sten was a two two silver order weapon. Then maybe, just maybe, this thing would be more appreciated as a good SMG and a good opt- alternative to the Lancaster. Because the Lancaster would be a direct upgrade, but the Lancaster would cost more. But the problem is, it costs the same as the Lancaster, and the Lancaster is just a direct upgrade to it. In fact, it's literally a upgrade in, its, in every regard. Damage, recoil, fire rate. I think the only thing is, like, you know, it has slightly more vertical recoil, but, it, you know, the Sten has a really good, you know, just an 18-18 recoil. Even though it does fire in a circle, it's still a very good... SM, solid SMG, especially when you get the um, upgrades to it as well. But I, I'm fa- I was actually tempted to put this as number one because many people just disregard this as a bad SMG just on the premise of, you know, oh you're not the Thompsons later, you're not the Lancaster later. But I had to put there was a weapon that had to be put at number one, and if you've known me for a long time, you'll know what the weapon is. Anyways, let's move on to number one. Yeah, it's the Stern Pistol. Now, honestly, no weapon, I think, in this game is as overhated as the Stern Pistol. I've heard people say that this thing is useless. That they you can't use this in its intended role. Honestly, to those people, I can understand this. The Stern Pistol is a very, very skill-based weapon. If you don't know, the Stern Pistol's main problem is, again, it's skill-based. You need to have this, you need to practice with this. If you do not practice, you will not unlock this weapon's potential. And the problem with this is that the Panzerfaust is just a new, is basically a click anywhere weapon. The Faust, you click anywhere and it will kill. The Stern Pistol, you have to aim it and you have to be accurate with it, but... With this thing, you can kill pretty much most vehicles. I've killed Panthers with this thing in custom matches. I've killed tanks like the MP... Like, I've killed the Jumbo. I've killed the M10. I've killed the Encher. I mean, I've killed everything with this thing. You can kill the Allies. The only thing I've probably not killed is the um, is the Churchill. But by the time the Churchill came out, I'd stopped using the Sturm Pistol. Now... The reason it's so, you know, it's so underrated and the reason why everyone looks past it is the Faust is just better in every way. And I know the Faust is better in every way. The Faust, I'd say, is a 10 out of 10 weapon. It's a 10 out of 10 anti-tank weapon. You could use this in basically any situation over the, over the Stern Pistol. That being said, the Stern Pistol is still a pretty good anti-tank weapon. Again, you just need to know where to aim it. And you can still use this as reliably as the as the um, the Faust. The only problem with the Stern Pistol, the reload time. The reload time kills this weapon. You literally, it's a six second reload time. I think that's the the longest reload time of any weapon in the in the game. Like the the Faust has double the speed of the reload time. You literally with the Faust, you can basically you know, reload and fire again, and then reload again by the time it takes the Stern Pistol to fire and reload. Which, again, that's another reason why the Stern Pistol isn't as good as the Faust. That being said, you know, it's... Dismissing the Stern Pistol is like a, oh, you can own, you can't use this, you know. I've heard people who said that they don't use bombers in Normandy, in Normandy Axis, because of the Stern Pistol. And... Yeah, I generally say, honestly, as patchy as it, as it is, you, you need to honestly just practice with the weapon and, you know, get good with the weapon. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Like, what do you guys think is the most underrated weapon in Normandy? I know I've been focusing on SMGs a lot because, well, SMGs are, some of the SMGs have been quite under, are quite underrated. But, yeah, I, you know, I, and I personally think the Stern Pistol is an underrated weapon because people say it's useless. The Piat goes in the same boat, but I think people, more more people appreciate the Piat more than the Stern Pistol. 
Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.